My name is Clay Kingsbury, and this is Zach Moffat, and we are honored to have the opportunity to speak with you today. Senior year, as many seniors will attest, is a year of reflection, but it is also another year of discovery. As seniors, we are constantly asked to define ourselves, and trust me, nothing is harder than trying to define who you are in fewer than 150 words. But today, unlike most college applications, we have an unlimited supply of words. Okay, not unlimited. We have until Annie or Rue kicks us off the stage. Thank you. <laughs> but we hope that by sharing our journey of self-discovery and self-definition, we will help you do the same in your own life. Clay and I met four years ago as new cadets, and we formed an unexpected friendship. On a brisk morning, I was on the best boat on the water as my group of new cadets reenacted Logan's Port Rescue. As a team, we were trying to go as fast as we could, but unfortunately, the weak kid behind me kept on getting his oar stuck in the water, preventing our boat from going forward. I happen to be that weak kid. <laughs> this experience started the epic relationship between the energetic three-sport athlete and the quiet, straight, A student. <laughs> as years went by here at Culver, and we took diverging paths on our Culver journey, even as we changed radically, one thing remained, our friendship. Together we help each other realize that our identities are not bound by one label. And that is something we hope you can understand by the end of the speech. When I came to Culver, I was confident that I was someone who loved to learn, that I was curious, and that I was willing to listen to others. However, these were aspects of my identity that were easy to accept. And I was fine projecting these aspects to those around me because I knew they would be accepted and validated. It is the deeper parts of our identities as people that many of us are taught to hide or to be ashamed of, even from the time we were growing up, because we know that these identities can cause people to look at us differently. I knew that I was gay from a young age. However, I lived in fear that once people knew this part of my identity, they would judge me and they would not accept it as valid. But luckily, this fear didn't play out. When I came out to the people in this community, people like Zach, I was not only met with acceptance, but my identity was validated. I never would have thought that I would become friends with a guy like Zach, but over the years, he has not only supported me in my endeavors, but he has taught me that to challenge the limits I have put on my own identity. Culver has taught me that I am more than just a student, and that I am more than my sexual orientation. I'm also a friend, and a leader. And the relationships I've built here during my time at Culver, along with the guidance of fantastic faculty members, have allowed me to not only discover who I am, but to embrace all aspects of my identity. I challenge you to take advantage of the Culver community and make relationships and friendships with students and faculty that will allow you to discover who you are. As a freshman, I had the perception that my identity was limited. I thought that I could only be a great athlete and not a great student as well. That I could only be a selfless leader, not a committed friend at the same time. However, within a few months here at Culver, as a student, I realized that I could be, and was more than one defining label. While I love sports like football, hockey, and baseball, and identify myself as an athlete, at Culver, I discovered that I can be more successful academically. It is because of amazing faculty here at Culver that I was able to realize the fact that I am more than just one, I'm sorry. <laughs> My perception of myself changed because of their guidance. Therefore, I implore you to take one look at Culver and the conception that you have about your own identity and overcome those voices in your head that tell you you are just one thing. Because trust me, you are more than just one label. I never would have thought that I would have met a person like Clay. I mean, look, he's so fabulous. <laughs> 
<laughs> so fabulous. <laughs> As time went by, I grew as people and changed. Being friends with people like Clay showed me that every person has a story. And although our identities and the words we use to describe ourselves might change over time, friends help you discover who you are. For many seniors, how they define themselves when they got here and who they define themselves as today are completely different. We use diverse labels and words to describe who we are as people throughout our lives. Whether you're a student, a friend, a musician, an athlete, a dancer, an artist, a parent, or all of these things, or none of these things, it's okay. As author Janet Mock once said, self-definition and self-determination are about the many varied decisions that we make to compose and journey towards ourselves, about the audacity, strength to proclaim, create, and evolve into who we know ourselves to be. It's okay if your personal state of definition is in a constant state of flux as you navigate this world. So if you took anything away from our speech, we challenge you to live your truth, to take a look at yourself and see who you define yourself as. And if this definition changes over time or if you're not sure of who you are, that means you're just like the rest of us and you're in the process of figuring it out. And in an environment like Culver, the greatest asset you have is the pro in this process are the relationships you form, even the unexpected ones. Aww. Thank you. <laughs>